I remember all the fun. It was just, it was, it was, it was a really happy company. And um, it was like a family, really. I can remember, because the holiday camp used to close down the second Saturday of September. And uh, the BBC technicians would be in there on the uh, on the Sunday, uh, uh, the, the second Saturday, and we were going to London. And um, it was like meeting up your old pals after a school, you know, summer holiday at school, and you meet up all your old mates, finding out what they'd all been doing. And I have such wonderful memories of th these rehearsal rooms at Acton. They were ginormous things, and I and, and dear Felix Boness, I got memories of him. He was he used to be a, a, a boxer. He'd uh, been a, a in, in the army, he'd been a professional, not a, a successful boxer in the army. And suddenly you look round and he was doing his shadow boxing routine and stuff like that. And um, and then he pretended he was like Bob Willis, the England fast bowler, and he'd done about 20 yards and pretend to bowl a ball. And um, it was just great fun. I, I, I remember all the humour. We had lots of laughs, obviously on the screen, but we had lots of laughs behind. So, and I remember Barry's irreverent humour and um, <laughs> <laughs> say stuff we couldn't possibly repeat. Um, I remember dear um, uh, I'm uh, Paul, Paul Shane, and um, he was wonderful. And, and Paul had grown up in the working men's clubs like Tony and I, because we were a double act, singing act, and some impressions from comedy routines. And Paul had come up through the working men's clubs as well. And uh, we used to sort of make each other laugh with stories of these working men's clubs. And we always used to tell the tale of this a poor comedian who died on his backside in this working men's club and, and the concert secretary going up to him after was saying, hey lad, you, you've done some damage here tonight. It would take us a week to get him back in this club. <laughs> and, 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 when, and, and whenever we saw Paul, we come out and say, hey, you, you've done some damage here tonight. <laughs> and uh, wonderful Leslie Dwyer. Uh, I'd, I'd like, I enjoyed talking to him about his career because he, had a wonderful career in all the old great um, British movies. And he'd also been in a film like, with Kirk Douglas and Bridget Bardo. And his father had been um, a music hall comedian. And he loved talking to him about those old days. And um, he was a very bright man, was Leslie. He used to come to work, he stayed with the Times uh, newspaper and do the, the Times crossword. And uh, it, was, it was just a because of a kind of cross section where you got your kind of your, your legit actors and those that come from um, the variety side of stuff mm -hmm. like dear old uh, um, Felix, but it was just a, a very, very happy time. Mm -hmm. And um, that's all I can think to say at the moment. It was just happy fun and, and you can tell how much we loved each other because we're still talking all these years afterwards. And, um, you know, it was just great fun, great, great fun. Beautiful. Do you have any examples of any bloopers, David? Any time that you remember that anything went wrong on the show? Well, um, there was the time when we, the, the cart caught, the, we, there was the, uh, the carnival when uh, uh, <laughs> Matlin's entered a float into the Crimpton on Sea carnival. And it was the job of, uh, the, the, this, this float caught fire. And it was a job, we, we dressed, there was a Western thing, we dressed up as cavalry officers. <laughs> and we had to pull this cart into, into the pool to um, put the fire out, and and we hadn't rehearsed running into the pool. With the, we were wearing uh, kind of, uh, horses, fiberglass horses, and we hadn't rehearsed running into the pool with these horses on. We should have done because it, once you hit the water with these horses, we all went under. And, um, and my brother <laughs> went under. And dear Chris Andrews, the other yellow coat, he went under. Simon Goodell saw the danger. He jumped off the cart, and Jeffrey rescued Tony. So that, that was fun. And, and the other um, thing I remember about the pilot of the show. Um, uh, one minute. Uh, one minute. Oh, yeah, very, very quickly. Um, the, the Jeff, Sue and, and, and uh, uh, Ruth and, and, and the others, they, on the pilot, to save a bit of money, they decided to sleep in the chalets <laughs> of the camp. And this was October and it was bitterly cold. And of course, the, the, the chalets were damp and they never got much sleep at all but because Tony and I live quite near the camp we went home to warm beds and warm wives so uh, I felt sorry for the guys then but they'll probably tell you that story <laughs> a little bit later. <laughs>